Hey guys, Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning about the Ronskian test for linear independence. So, we use the Ronskian to determine if a set of functions are linearly independent, and when we are dealing with a set of two functions, the Ronskian takes the following form. So, the Ronskian of y1 and y2 is equal to the determinant of the following matrix here. So, in the first row, we have y1 and y2, our two functions, and in the second row, we have the corresponding derivatives of the functions from the first row. So we have y1 prime and y2 prime. And so when our Ronskian is not equal to zero, then that means that we have two linearly independent functions. And if the Ronskian is equal to zero, this means that our test is inconclusive and we cannot conclude that our functions are linearly independent or linearly dependent. And now let's go ahead and take a look at some examples and apply this. So in this first example here, we have y1 is equal to e to the 2x and y2 is equal to e to the negative 2x. So let's go ahead and plug this into our formula for the Ronskian. So we have the Ronskian of y1, which is e to the 2x, and y2, which is e to the negative 2x. And this is equal to the determinant of, so we have y1 and y2 in the first row. So y1 is e to the 2x, and y2 is e to the negative 2x. And in the second row goes the derivatives of the functions in the first row. So here we have e to the 2x. So taking its derivative, we have 2e to the 2x. And then here we have e to the negative 2x. So taking its derivative, we have negative 2e to the negative 2x. So now let's go ahead and evaluate this determinant. So how we do this is we start out by multiplying the elements of our major diagonal. So we have this e to the 2x here and this negative 2e to the negative 2x here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have e to the 2x times negative 2e to the negative 2x. And then we're going to subtract from that the product of the minor diagonal. So these two terms here. So we have e to the negative 2x times 2e to the 2x. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have e to the negative 2x times 2e to the 2x. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and simplify this. So here we have a negative 2 and then we have this exponential here. So e to the 2x and e to the negative 2x. So because these two have the same base, we can just go ahead and add their exponents. So 2x minus 2x is equal to 0. So we have negative 2e to 0. And then we have minus. And then here we have this 2 here. And then we have our exponential term. So we have e to the negative 2x and e to the 2x. So again, we have the same base, so we can just add our exponents. So we have negative 2x here and 2x here. So negative 2x plus 2x is equal to 0. And so this e to the 0 is just equal to 1, and this e to the 0 is also equal to 1. So we are left with negative 2 minus 2, which is equal to negative 4. And so that is the value of our Ronskian, and this is not equal to 0. And so what this means is that y1 and y2 are linearly independent. And so let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. Okay, so in this next example here, we have y1 is equal to cosine of x and y2 is equal to sine of x. So let's go ahead and plug these into our formula for the Ronskian. So we have the Ronskian of y1, which is cosine of x, and y2, which is sine of x. And so this is equal to y1 and y2 in the first row. So we have cosine of x and sine of x. And in the second row goes the derivatives of the functions from the first row. So here we have a cosine of x. So taking its derivative, that gives us a negative sine of x. And so here we have a sine of x, so taking its derivative, we have cosine of x. Okay, so now let's go ahead and evaluate this determinant here. And so let's go ahead and start out by multiplying the elements of our major diagonal. 
So we have a cosine of x and a cosine of x. So we have cosine of x times cosine of x. And next what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the product of the elements in the minor diagonal. So we have a sine of x and a negative sine of x. So minus sine of x times negative sine of x. And now let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have cosine of x times cosine of x. So that's just cosine squared of x. And then we have a minus a negative sine. So that becomes a plus. And then we have sine of x times sine of x. So it gives us sine squared of x. So cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is just equal to 1 by our trig identity. So this is not equal to 0. And so what this means is that our two functions, y1 and y2, are linearly independent. And so that is how you use the Bronskian to determine if a set of functions are linearly independent. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.